Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to the Sue and Sue Talk Show Cottage Talk with your host, Marcia Whiteboard, reaching beyond the boundaries for social growth. I am very excited today. We have a VIP guest on set today, a man that needs no introduction. He has been in the entertainment business since the age of 14. He has traveled the world spreading his golden voice. I don't know how I'm going to get through this interview because I am one of his biggest fans. He's the winner of many awards. He has been awarded Best Album of the Year, Best Vocal Artist, and Best Songwriter. Please help me welcome on set of Cottage Talk today, the one and only Tony Anthony. Hello, Marcia. Thanks for having me on your show You're there. welcome, Tony. Oh, my God. I feel so <laughs> blessed to have you on Cottage Talk today. Welcome. Thanks for having me, man. You're welcome. Yeah. So, Tony, yeah. you're on the set of Cottage Talk. <laughs> I, I, it's like I'm still in a myth. Like, is this happening? <laughs> I am blessed with Tony Anthony on my stage. And thank you for coming. I must say, I've taken some time out to, you know, follow your music. I'm very impressed. You know, many people that may be watching this interview today don't know much about Tony Anthony. Can you tell us something about Tony Anthony that nobody knows? Well, you know, I've, I've uh, started, I just say, since I was 14 years old. Wow. You know, my, my family, six girls and two boys, uh -huh. we weren't allowed to go outside and mingle with everybody else. So we played amongst ourselves. But my dad was a great singer. So okay. all of his children was like blessed with uh, vocally, put it that way. Okay. So we kept a lot of concerts and stuff, you know what I mean? So we used to go to church, sang together and all those type of stuff. When I started going to school, you know, got involved in, 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 in um, you know, choirs and stuff like that, you know. And I remember my first year of high school, mm -hmm. Glen Washington, you know, the famous Glen Washington yes, came yes, there with a yeah. band and mm -hmm. I performed. Wow. And when I was finished, he took me aside and said, you should take music seriously. Wow. So that's how I really got started. And mm -hmm. at 15, I was performing in clubs and stuff like that. My mom allowed me because... At 15? Yeah, because, you know, I was, I was a kind of a smart, smarty pants instead, instead of schoolwork and stuff. Okay. So she said, as long as you kept the grades good, boy, you can go do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so on weekends, I would be a vocalist in a band, in a club. You know, I was wow. like a kid. But I was like a big kid, so not a lot of people knew I was 14, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... um. And in those days, I, I, I performed with some of the best of the best at the time, wow. like Joseph Hill from Culture. I remember uh -huh. he was a drummer in the band at the time. You know what I mean? John Holt, all those people, all those great Jamaican artists used to pass through a club. So I, you know, I was mingling with, with all the superstars in, in those days. You know well, what I mean? Well, so, stick a bit. <laughs> you perform with who? John Holt? I perform with like all the who's in, 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 in Jamaican reggae music, sometime other wow. in, in my career. I was, I was a student musician too in, in Jamaica. Uh, when I left school and all that, so I played on uh, quite a few mm -hmm. recordings and you know worked with, as I said, the Who is Who, the Frankie Paul, the, the wow. Freddie McGregor. Oh I, I've goodness. done work with, with almost all of those people. What you know an I mean? experience! Yeah, so, you know, there's there's a lot about Tony Anthony that a lot of people don't even know musically. I didn't even you know, know I mean? that because before I migrated to Canada like 20 odd years ago, mm -hmm. I was deep in the music industry in Jamaica, selling records, walking wow. on the road and selling records to Randy's records, uh, you know, <laughs> Aquarius records in Alpha Tree. I used to do all of that, you know what wow. I mean? So my history is long in the business, yes. So your foundation was well cemented at a very tender yes, I age. Yes, I learned from the best. I learned from the and best. And you learned from the best because yeah. some of the pioneers you just mentioned, yeah. it would be an honor to have them on my stage. And, but, you know, <laughs> I have you, so, yeah. hey, I have a piece of them. Yeah. So, Tony, after, you know, you know, going through all of that and actually understanding that now music is what I want to do, mm -hmm. per se, at what age did you record your first album or go on your first tour? How did this all start it? Well, as I said, when I was uh, if I left high school, mm. I, I I was a member of a band called Crucial Vibes, mm -hmm. and Crucial Vibes was a, was a prominent band in Jamaica. Okay. And I was like at twenty twenty one. We started touring. My first tour actually was at uh, in, in Canada here, oh. in Edmonton at the World University Games. I remember that it was like way nineteen eighty three. Nineteen eighty three. Yeah, and I toured then, and um, I was with the band. We did quite a few albums. We went we went we toured North America. We toured mm -hmm. South America. We did a lot of touring with lots of. Um, top musicians, top artists at the time, because mm -hmm. Coca T first trip to, to Canada was with us. Wow. You know I mean, Peter Metro back in those days, we toured those guys. So that's what I was doing. I was a rhythm guitarist at the time. Oh. And all I did was play guitar and do background vocals. I wasn't the lead vocalist uh, at the time. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, as I said, watching these great artists before my, I, I kind of pick up a few pointers from them. Okay. You know what I mean? So I didn't really got doing solo music till when I actually came here. Okay. You know what I mean? When I came to Canada, I, uh -huh. I, I decided I was getting starting to do my own thing. Because, okay. as I said, back then, a lot of people encouraged me to do solo music, but yes. solo recordings. But yes. I didn't 
have that interest okay. because I was interested in the band and what the band was doing. Okay. You know, so I was cool just being a background vocalist and, and a rhythm guitarist, you know. Wow. So yeah, so when I came to Canada now I, I um I, I for a while I stopped doing reggae music for a while too. You did? I was, I was in a band called I, I formed a band called Tactics when I came here first. Tactics. Okay. We, we did pretty well too mm -hmm. he, he, for a few years. And I was the lead vocalist with that. And that's when I started going to the front and singing, doing most of the vocal work. Mm -hmm. After I, uh, we were nominated for a Juno too in 1996 with Tactics too. I remember yeah, that Yeah, you were named for a Juno mm -hmm. Award. Wow. And then after I left Tactics, I went, I started doing dance music. Okay. <laughs> what was that like? It was great because I, <laughs> I used to be on Electric Circus back in the day on uh, Much Music. A lot of people will remember those days, Electric Circus with Juliet Powell and all those people. I used to be on Electric Circus singing dance music and all that okay. stuff. Okay. We were even on the Much Music uh, chart, one of our singles, one of the times. Wow. So, supposed to be doing pretty well. Oh my goodness, you're, you're, you're actually blowing my mind right now yeah. because you're yeah. telling me that you were a musician before. I don't even know that no, you yeah, play yeah, music, yeah. one. Two, that you were touring and then you were from background singer to now single and mm. you were doing electric what? Circle? Electric Circus, yes, and, and much music back in the day. Every back circus. in the day, new electric, Friday, every Friday evening, Electric Circus downtown in City TV building. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you, you could say I'm an 80s baby almost. Yeah, it's, 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 so, yeah, it's, 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 uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's, I, I don't know those days. Maybe I've heard about it, so... Yeah. You yeah. know, but in terms wow. of doing solo reggae music, yes. you know, I, after the Electric Circus episode, I actually stopped doing music for a while mm -hmm. because as I was a single dad. Okay. My, my daughter, I took my daughter here when she was five years old, so I was totally responsible for her. For her. And, and, and one of my sons, too. Okay. So I had to, I remember one day I said to her, baby, this is what I want you to do. Go to school, go mm -hmm. to university, go to college. Mm -hmm. And she was like, dad, did you go to college? <laughs> Couldn't answer. <laughs> Couldn't answer her, couldn't answer at all. And I decided that, you know what? I gotta lead by example. Wow. So I put music aside for a bit, went to college, then I went to university mm -hmm. and did all of that stuff. Wow. Got a journalism degree, got a social science degree. You did? Yeah, and then all of that stuff. So after starting to work, yes. I realized that this is not what I really want. Yes. I wanted music. Music was in your blood. Yeah, so after my daughter grew up and reached a certain yes. age and my son, I decided that. I'm just gonna do music now. Wow. Yeah. And and to be honest, your music has actually been taking the world by storm. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that actually gets me about your music, Tony Anthony, is that you have so much soul in your song. Mm -hmm. And for me, listening to music, it must carry soul. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I, I didn't tell you this, but one day I was in my car and I heard you on a radio station. Mm -hmm. And that was actually wh how when I heard your hit song, that's not tearing up the world. And <laughs> it, it was like really. It wasn't even, a, the song was beautiful, but it was the soul that was in mm. that song that actually got me, oh my God, I really, really have to, you know, get a hold of this song. And, you know, and, and that's what we need in the music world today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul. Yeah. You know what, Tony, we're going to come back because right now you just said some stuff that actually have my <laughs> blood boiling. I want to know more. Yeah. So do me a favor, hold that thought. Stay tuned in College Talk. We'll be right back with the one and only Tony Anthony with your host, Marcia Wildford and College Talk. Thank you. So, Tony, if people want to find you on social media, how do they find you? I'm all over the social media, man. You just Google Tony Anthony Reggae and tons of things will pop up with, with me and my music. If you want to link me up on Facebook, it's Tony Anthony, Facebook slash Tony Anthony. Mm -hmm. I'm on Instagram, Tony Anthony Muse, T O N Y A N T H O N Y M U Z E. Twitter, the same thing, Tony Anthony Muse. And if you want to book Tony Anthony for performance or anything of that nature mm -hmm. big seven promotion is available there just link them at 416-577-8424 416-577-8424 you know what i mean just link me up performance whatever you know i'm happy to come out and sing for all the people man wow you've heard it here in cottage talk the one and only tony anthony oh my god i have been blessed with this present today and guess what stay tuned and keep watching tony thank you very much for coming to Cottage thank talk. you so much for having me on the show i've been watching your show man and you're doing a great job so oh. it was a pleasure for me to be here today so keep up the good work marcia thank loving you. loving it baby loving I appreciate it appreciate you've heard it here Cottage talk.